The province of Corrientes contains one of the most privileged regions for the development of ecotourism, the Ibarra Nature Reserve. Every day the Ibarra opens its doors to visitors from all over the world, witnesses to Argentina's generous biodiversity. The reserve is the result of a recovered fauna, abundant and tame, of well-preserved natural sceneries, and of the intention of its people to be part of a land that unifies landscape, nature and culture, like no other in the country. With new access to the Ibarra from four directions, the reserve is ready to satisfy the most diverse interests of its visitors always within the context of a wild yet preserved land. Navigating its lagoons and creeks brings us to species already extinct in other regions and their tameness is stunning. Marsh deer grazing on the shore Yakare Kaiman's lazing in the morning sun. Young river wolves catching fish. Groups of capybaras moving between water and land. In addition to hundreds of species of bird to delight the watchers and create a natural attraction impossible to find anywhere else. The forests reveal a different fauna, though no less important. Howler monkeys swinging from one treetop to another in search of food, while dozens of species of bird and mammal are busy in their daily struggle to survive in ecosystems barely touched by man. The catch and release of the dorado fish, snorkeling between submerged grasslands and nature crossings by kayak can be practiced in the clear waters of the Corriente River, in the quiet creeks of the reserve's western sector and in the virgin lagoons south of the Ibarra. Ibarra is one of the few places where the immensity of wild landscapes can be travelled on horseback, crossing deep marshes along with the animals in a canoe. Sometimes this is done accompanying the local herdsmen from one ranch to another. The varied supply of hotels helps to meet the needs of tourists with different budgets but always in keeping with the local values, the architecture, the gastronomy and the traditions of Corrientes. The reintroduction of species like the anteater, the pampas deer, pecaris, and the return of large carnivores like the puma and the jaguar has attracted a new public, eager for close encounters with large mammals. Ibarra is becoming the only park where it's possible to see the five largest mammals in America, the jaguar, the tapir, the maned wolf, the anteater and the marsh deer. The Ibarra wetlands are one of the best preserved large nature reserves in Latin America. And along with a handful of parks and reserves, it is on the short list of privileged ecotourist destinations worldwide. The reserve has a surface of 1,300,000 hectares and is made up of 10 municipalities. Ibarra is in the middle of three international tourist corridors that link Buenos Aires with Iguazú, Sao Paulo and Salta. 
In this context, Ibarra is the only destination that offers abundant and accessible fauna all year round. Through five stories, we come into contact with the different options the Ibarra has to satisfy the varied demands of its visitors. From a relaxed family trip, to an adventurous ride through the waters, along with a themed excursion for bird watchers and photographers, and a kayak trip along unexplored creeks.